Hey guys. All right, now we're going to talk about relative pronouns in phrases of quantity and quality. Okay, so this is actually very important if you're taking the SAT. So I'm gonna, before we dive into it, we want to first establish some ground rules. So I'm gonna give you guys a few sentences. All our boys, all of them are boys. All of whom are boys. Next, some are girls. Well, actually no, some are trucks. Some of them are trucks. Some of which are trucks. Now, in examples, some are complete sentences, so they're grammatically correct, while others are fragments. So if we take a look at the first one, what is my subject? My subject is pronoun all, right? Actually, all of them, the subject would be all. However, the first one, all our boys, that is a sentence because all can be used as subject of a complete sentence. The second one, all them are boys, that is also a sentence because the them is a personal pronoun. However, the third one, all of whom are boys, now that is not a sentence because whom is a relative pronoun. So it would make this into an adjective clause, which is a fragment. So using the same logic, some are trucks, that's a sentence. Some of them are trucks, that is a sentence. But some of which are trucks becomes a fragment because which is a relative pronoun. All right, so now going back to our table here, if we look at the first example, he gave two answers. So you see he gave two answers, that is our independent clause both of which were correct. The which is referring to the answers, right? And that is why you use a comma here. We call this a tag comma, by the way. All right. And the second example, the top students received scholarships. So that is my independent clause. And inside you can see all of whom, the whom is referring to the students all of whom graduated with honors. That is our non-essential or non-restrictive adjective clause, all right? So when you see words like some, each, all, both, right? It indicates number, that's why we call it quantity. What about quality? Well, it means the best, the worst, the smartest, the dumbest, the fattest, the shortest, the most handsome whatever right so she has three daughters that is my independent clause the oldest of whom so again i'm referring to daughters people right this is non-essential the oldest of the three daughters of whom is studying abroad the comedian's jokes were about politics this is my independent clause the funniest of the jokes, the funniest of which I had heard before. Okay, so that is my quality relative mm. pronouns. Yes. So all of um all of the whom are referring to the subject. Uh, they are referring to the antecedent. It doesn't have to be the subject because do you see in the first example, he gave two answers. My adjective clause is actually modifying the object, right? Because subject and object, they're both nouns. So adjective clause just modifies nouns. So they don't always modify subject. They could modify okay. objects as well, right? So it's the same thing with the second or actually the third example sentence. She has three daughters. Daughters is your object. The oldest of whom is studying abroad. That is modifying the daughters, the object here. Okay. Yeah, but that's a good question. All right. So that is our quantity and quality relative pronouns. So keep in mind that when you see whom or which, all of whom some of which, oldest of whom, that creates fragment, that creates adjective clause.